little things in life that make me happy. So here is what's cheering me up this week. If we haven't met before, hey, I'm Kelly, I'm the Frugal Fun Mum, and I have had the longest week ever. And to protect the innocent and my sanity, uh, I compressed down <laughs> a whole long week of the ups and downs and in-betweens. And I was like, you know what, this is not me. I'm not a person to stay in my misery. Every day is a new day for me. I don't meditate or journal or sit there and go, what are three things I'm grateful for today? It's not who I am. Let's be real. And I am so real. <laughs> yeah, it's not funny. I laugh at a lot of stuff. I find a lot of things humorous. The most smallest things entertain me. I'm easily amused. I'm an only child. We learn to entertain ourselves growing up. But when I sat and thought about the week... I realized that there are just the little things that I've been loving this week. And I thought, as you guys have written in the comments of it's been a long week, you are normally such a bright and bubbly person. So sorry that you're going through this. And I thought, well, yep, yeah, that was just a dip in the week. So let's bring it right back up again and have some fun and share what's been cheering me up this week. So five things that I have. Number one is YouTube. I have just been loving sharing with you guys this week. I think the editing's been quite easy for me and I'm just sharing stuff. I basically film all of my day, all of the stuff that's happening and then that way I have footage to create stuff. Uh, I was watching a video by Gary V on YouTube and he was saying there's different types of people that create stuff. There's those that sit, plan and create and then there's others that just document their lives and then they have something put together and that's kind of half and half of what he does. He does sort of create some specific things but a lot of it he's just documenting his life and then sharing with people and I was like that's what I want to do because I think when I come to YouTube, I like to connect with other people, see what other people are up to from all different areas. And I've been really surprised lately about some things that have been appearing on my recommended page, um, some channels that I have never even heard about before, because when I look in my what other audiences are watching, they're not in there. Um, so I've just discovered, I think it's, it's one small footprint and she's talking about her homestead journey and I'm there like goals. <laughs> she can grow stuff and have a garden. Don't ask me how my garden's going. <laughs> it's not cheering me up right now. But anyway, they're just little things like that. I've been able to sit very mindlessly and watch this lady sew fabric scraps together. And I'm just like, one day... <laughs> So obviously I'm delusional about all the things I'm going to accomplish one day. So it's just free entertainment that it's there. But also, thanks to you guys have been cheering me up. Just that I know someone's at the end of the camera and that feels making me feel valued. Mary Kay Ash always said that you should imagine people have a sign around their neck that says, make me feel important. And I think that too, valuing someone, not making them just important, but valuing what they have. And I've had a few people reach out to me lately and ask for just a few quick tips or tricks about things that I think you could ask anybody, you probably have, but you're also asking me and I think, you know, that makes me feel like I have something worthy um, to contribute. So I really appreciate that. So I really appreciate you guys for watching. So thank you so much. Number one. Number two, which also relates to YouTube, is movies. I have been finding so many free movies online and I am surprised about what's there. I previously go to the library and borrow a whole heap of DVDs and stuff, but lately I just haven't had the time to get there. And I was just sitting on YouTube one day and it just popped up free movie. And it said free with ads, but there were no ads in the movie. And I was like, so I sat there and watched it. And then of course, now it's starting to recommend other stuff. So if you go to my um, playlist, I've got a playlist there and I've got free movies and I'm starting to save the movies that are there that I've watched that I've enjoyed. Um, I'm not into horror, so <laughs> sorry, there's no movies there with anyone getting their head chopped off. 
<laughs> oh, which is something I nearly clicked on. And then also a couple of movies I've started watching and gone, this is it feels a bit eerie. So I've Googled it and gone, oh, no. <laughs> so that's not made it to the list. So anything I've really enjoyed, it's on the list. So please go and check it out. And if you have any movie recommendations, um, let me know because I'm always keen for what's out there. Number three is bingo. On a Thursday afternoon, I've been going to bingo with my mum just at a little club. And it's been so good because we're starting to really fit into the community that's there. We've been getting to know some people's names and being able to have a little chat with them. And some of the ladies as well appreciate the books that I bring in, the dead body books. And so they're really loving that. So I feel really happy and special that I can bring those books to them and just chat to them. I've always gotten on well with people who are older than me and I love talking to them about different stuff, especially about things that they used to do compared with now and I love sort of history stuff like that. So yeah, I've really been loving it. Sometimes on a Friday when we go, uh, the group that we kind of sit with They've been there forever and a day, so it's good we're starting to make friends with them. And also, some of the people that are there are just a little bit cheeky, and we have a little bit of a laugh and a joke with them too. So it's really good sort of finding your people and just enjoying being there. A um, couple of my subscribers have been there as well, so it's been great to say, hey, hey, going and catch up with them. And yeah, just overall feeling like you're welcomed and you're part of something. Number four is my freezer. Thank you to you guys for watching all of the videos and everything that you do here. Thanks to the YouTube revenue, I saved up over the past couple of months and I was able to purchase the freezer. So feel free to pick whatever drawer that you want to put your name on. And it's been so good to be able to really start effectively stockpiling and shopping and being able just to kind of space out some food and get organized because the idea of it as well as us being able to save the food is to be able to share with other people some tips and tricks about what to do and thanks to you guys being able to get that second freezer is just able to give us a little bit more wiggle room because you guys know what the freezer is like inside the house it a nightmare so having the second freezer just allows us just to sort of chill a little bit and just be able to space things out and calmly not panic that I can't fit anything in there so thank you so much it's it's been a blessing Number five is being part of the Buy Nothing group. I've been able to receive some really awesome stuff this past week and also gift some things. So it helps me to declutter. And today I was able to be gifted this book that I'm excited to eventually read. No doubt it will sit entertaining my nightstand for a few weeks. And while I was there, I got to meet the lady and have a chat with her as well. So it's a great way to be able to meet some people. She also then gave me a whole pile of shopping bags because she said I'm desperate desperately wanting to declutter and I said I would so be happy to take them off your hands because my cart ends up really full with stuff from the buy nothing and so having that would help me to declutter and keep on top of it. Also thanks to the group I'm able to get things that my ADHD I'm going to make that one day alter ego uh, has been very happy to collect. So I was given a bag of fabric scraps. I enjoyed digging through that more than what I'm eventually going to do with it. That just entertained me for like 10 minutes. Told you, only child, easily entertained. Uh, there's a traveling sewing box that I'm going to go through and just see if there's anything in there that I could use. Uh, and also I've been given some craft stuff lately for some scrapbooking stuff. And yeah, it's just lots of fun. I've been able to meet some people and connect with some other people I haven't seen in a while. So just overall, it's just exciting that we're part of a little community like that. So there's just five things that I'm really grateful for this week. They've been a blessing they're frugal as well <laughs> but just such small little things that I think 
that just cheer me up. And I just thought, let's put some positivity into the world and share with you guys. So if you've enjoyed this, let me know, because I would love to be able to be a bit more aware of what's going on and share with you guys the things that have made me happy and all the positives. I know that I vlog with you guys, but I think if I could extract that and just put it into a bit of a positive video for you guys, because I'm also here about um, being uplifting and just sharing with you guys what's going on. And it's always fun just to share the weird things that I enjoy. As I said, I'm an only child. I'm entertained easily. <laughs> I would love to know what has been cheering you up this week. So if you want to leave me a comment down below, I would so love that. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.